Alfred Hitchcock was Hollywood's master of suspense. And this quaint schoolhouse, located in scenic Bodega Bay, California, became the setting for his 1963 film, The Birds. He would always choose places that were of interest and that would have a mystique about them. I mean, you looked at it up on that hill and it was, it was really quite a, a for, almost a, a bit foreboding, but it was disturbingly populated and there was nobody there. For years, others have felt what Tippi Hedren and the other cast members sensed. This building is haunted. Oh, there are uh, bumps on the wall, voices in the hallway, sounds and sounds on the stairs. Sometimes I hear a woman singing, or maybe it's a little girl, I don't know. Built in 1873, the school sits quiet above this picturesque coastal town. On the second floor, a large open space a congregation hall for the community. They used to hold plays upstairs and they'd have dances and things like that and then kind of dwindled down. The school closed down. The students moved on. A playground stands empty now. But there is something strange happening here. I was alone and was working at the typewriter. There was a slow rap on the kitchen door upstairs. And I stopped typing, and then I saw the doorknob turn. <laughs> I heard kids playing in the schoolyard, and it didn't phase me at all because I'm a teacher and I'm so familiar with that sound. And of course, I knew that there were no children here and hadn't been for a long time. When the town decided to sell the school, the Taylor family moved in and refurbished the historic building. From the beginning, they were aware that they were not alone. When I was 12, I was sat on scaffolding five tiers high and actually painted under the eaves of the building. And um, uh, from the very beginning, it was very spooky. After we were here at night, we began to hear sounds and steps and uh, things that were all friendly. I did see an apparition a few years ago, a little girl. And she actually spoke to me. She, she said, hi. And the whole room echoed with the sound of her voice. Leah embraced the friendly spirits. And when her parents moved out, she stayed behind with her husband and her young son. Tourists continued to visit the former movie site. One visitor came face to face with a ghost, prompting a call to Christopher Chacon and his team of paranormal investigators. When we received a phone call from a family of uh, three in Washington, they had apparently been vacationing in the area. Their teenage daughter came over to take some photos of the house. And as she was taking the photos, she stated that she saw a young lady standing at the top of these stairs. Uh, she told the young girl to move, and the, the young girl came down the stairs and walked right toward her. And at that point, she apparently just evaporated. Chacon runs the Office of Scientific Investigation and Research, or OSIR. They travel the world investigating unexplained phenomena. They arrived with a variety of sophisticated monitoring equipment. They swept the home for traces of supernatural activity. We also were able to uh, document a variety of anomalous cold spots also along the wall which was uh, west of the main living room. The investigation led to the cavernous second story room. Leah recalls a chilling encounter. There was a child's rocker right about here and also a plastic beach ball, small plastic beach ball, and the child's rocker began to rock back and forth. And then the beach ball began to roll. This room became the focus of the investigation. And with the cameras rolling, something strange occurs. A lamp, too high for human hands to reach, swings by itself. And the next morning, a message. 
written on the outside of a window that had been painted shut for years. After people live here for a while and they leave, uh, what it creates is an impression in the environment. And it's sort of like a loop, uh, a videotape loop, playing back over and over again. I think it's a residual energy of some kind. How that energy is maintained, I don't... I, don't, uh, I am a physicist, but I, that physics doesn't have any explanation for that. Leah and her family are convinced that they share a house with otherworldly entities. But they aren't afraid. They believe these spirits have returned to haunt the place where they were happiest.